This video will give you an overview of the walkabout, its format, and the expectations I have for your presentations. This may be new to you, but I think you will master the format in no time. Walkabouts work like this. Desks are arranged in stations, say four or five at a time, and each presenter finds himself a station. The remaining students play the role of the audience and break into small groups and find themselves a spot at a given station. I will use a timer to let us know when everyone should start. And once everyone is done and our five minutes are up, the audience rotates and the presenters present to a new group of students. Thus, each presenter will present to three or four different groups, but only one presentation, the one where I am present, will be evaluated. Now for the content of your presentations. It's important to understand your presentations are not about your novels. They are about the theme you examine in the novel and its real world connection. So for example, if your essay was about the hero archetype in two novels, perhaps your real world, world connection can be to a modern definition of heroism and examples around the world. If your essay had something to do with dystopian worlds and governments who control their citizens, perhaps your presentation could be about techniques that governments today use to control and manipulate their citizens. If you need help just finding news stories that might get you started, I provided a few links on this blog entry that might help you. This is not a lecture. Remember that you are presenting to a small group of students. Use techniques that will engage them just so like you would engage anyone in conversation. If you wish, you may even ask your audience questions to engage them in the presentation. This presentation has a visual requirement. You need to create some visual piece that will enhance your presentation in some way. In the past, students have created Bristol boards, used their computer, or even used their cell phone to present to their peers. Remember, because of the small group dynamic, things like cell phones can be really effective. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any questions, please post them as a comment on my blog, and I will try to answer them as soon as I can, hopefully before this very class is over.